In this video, I'll be sharing exactly how to learn cloud security as a beginner. And trust me, it's something you'd want to master. Right now, there's a global shortage of over 3 million cybersecurity professionals, and cloud security roles in particular are one of the most in demand and high paying. Why? Because misconfigurations in the cloud are still one of the biggest causes of data breaches, leading to major fines, legal issues, and loss of customer trust. Companies need cloud security engineers to help them prevent these issues, not just clean up the mess when the damage is done. They need people who can understand how how cloud infrastructure works, how to secure applications properly, and how to detect threats before they become serious. And that's exactly where you can fit in. If you're looking for a job that's in demand, pays well, and where you can make a big impact, then cloud security is worth exploring. Now, if you're new to this space and not too sure where to start, there's actually a lot of free resources out there. In fact, my entire YouTube channel over the past five years has been dedicated to helping people learn cloud computing. And so in this video, I'll be breaking down how exactly to learn cloud security from scratch and in the least amount of time. I'll also be sharing three beginner friendly project ideas for you to build and add to your portfolio. So make sure you watch to the end. All right, let's get into it. I realized the importance of cloud security back when I used to work at AWS as a solutions architect. Time and time again, I would see customers struggle with security, not because they didn't care, but because they just didn't know where to start. But let's take a step back. What exactly is cloud security? Well, at a basic level, cloud security is a combination of two fields, cloud computing and cybersecurity. It's all about making sure your data, applications, and systems stay safe when they're running in the cloud. To help you visualize this, imagine a Venn diagram. On one side, you have cloud computing, so think AWS, Azure, and GCP. On the other side, you have cybersecurity, so threat detection, encryption, identity, and so on. And right in the middle, there's cloud security. This includes things like monitoring logs, securing networks, controlling who has access to what, and making sure data is encrypted. Pretty much anything related to keeping your cloud environment safe and secure. So how do you actually start learning cloud security? Well, here's what I would do if I had to learn it from scratch. First, I'd learn the cloud fundamentals. Next, I'd study cybersecurity basics. And thirdly, I'd combine my knowledge of the two to understand how security actually works in the cloud. I'd also build hands-on projects along the way to reinforce my knowledge. Now, let's walk through each step, starting with step number one, which is to learn cloud fundamentals. First things first, you'll need to understand what cloud computing is, the benefits, how it works, and the unique pay-as-you-go pricing model. Next, you should pick a cloud provider, for example, AWS or Azure, and get familiar with the core services. This includes the services that focus on compute, storage, networking, security, and monitoring. To learn all of this, I'd recommend starting off with the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification. It gives you a structured path to understand the basics without getting overwhelmed. And if you're more of a hands-on learner, you can skip the cert and jump straight into tutorials. For example, try deploying a static website on S3 or spinning up a basic EC2 instance. That alone would teach you about IAM roles, security groups, and regions. In terms of resources, you can check out AWS Skill Builder, which offers free cloud courses, and Zero to Cloud, which is my own cloud learning platform to help you go from zero to cloud hero. Okay, once you understand how things are built in the cloud, you're in a much better position to learn how to secure them. Which brings us to step number two, which is to learn cybersecurity basics. Just like with the cloud, you don't have to learn everything. Cybersecurity is a really broad field, so focus on the parts that actually apply to cloud environments. Here are five main areas I'd recommend mastering. The first one is identity and access management. This is where a lot of real world security issues happen. Learn how to design cloud systems with the principle of least privilege in mind. Next is encryption. Understand the difference between data at rest and data in transit, as well as how services like AWS KMS can help you manage encryption keys. The third is network security. You'd want to know how traffic flows in and out of your environment, what makes a subnet public or private, and how security groups and firewalls control access. After that, that, make sure you understand the shared responsibility model. Your cloud provider is responsible for the security of the cloud, whereas you're responsible for security in the cloud. So that includes your own data, access, and how you configure your applications. And finally, it's also worth being aware of governance and compliance. Things like access audits, policy enforcement, and industry standards like PCI, DSS, and HIPAA. This will come up time and time again, especially if you're working in finance, e-commerce, healthcare, or the public sector. Honestly, there's a lot of fascinating concepts to learn in cybersecurity. So if you'd like guided learning paths, I'd recommend checking out Try Hack Me. It's a hands-on beginner-friendly platform where you can learn cybersecurity without needing a technical background. AWS also has a free cybersecurity fundamental 
fundamentals course, which I'll link in the description below. Okay, so step number three is where the learning gets fun because you'll be able to combine your cloud fundamentals with cybersecurity knowledge. And the best way to combine the two is through hands-on projects. This is the step that most people skip because they feel like they've learned enough through tutorials and video courses. But before we continue, I'd like to thank Veronis for sponsoring today's video. If you're learning cybersecurity, one of the most important things is understanding how real world risks actually happen, not just in theory, but through actual cloud environments. Veronis just released their 2025 State of Data Security Report based on data from a thousand cloud environments across AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. And the findings are pretty alarming. It shows that in most organizations, sensitive data is still widely exposed. AI tools often have access to internal files by default, and many companies are still using third-party apps that haven't been properly validated. And that's where Veronis comes in. They help organizations protect their data by showing who has access to what, where the risks are, and what needs to be fixed, whether that's exposed files, excessive permissions, or suspicious behavior across cloud and SaaS platforms. So if you want to learn from real data, not just tutorials, I'll leave a link to the report in the description below. All right, as promised, here are three projects for you to build that combines cloud with cybersecurity. Project number one is to build and secure a static site with S3, CloudFront, and WAF. This is great if you're just getting started. You'll host a static website in an S3 bucket, server with CloudFront, and then secure it using AWS WAF and HTTPS. Along the way, you'll also practice configuring IAM policies, bucket permissions, and setting up protection against common web attacks. Project number two is to build a secure login system using Cognito. With this project, you'll create user authentication flows through Cognito. You'll learn how to set up user pools, enable multi-factor authentication, and restrict access to backend resources with fine-grained IAM roles. This is perfect for learning how identity, access control, and least privilege actually work in real-life apps. Project number three is to detect and respond to threats with guard duty. This one gives you hands-on experience with security monitoring and automation. You enable guard duty to detect unusual threats with your AWS environment, trigger alerts using CloudWatch, and build a Lambda function to automatically remediate threats, like disabling a compromised IAM user. Each of these projects can be built with the AWS free tier, so feel free to try them out and let me know how you go. For step-by-step -step guides to beginner and intermediate level cloud projects, you can check out my Zero to Cloud courses. The beginner projects are designed to be completed over a weekend, and if you get stuck, there's also a Slack community included where you can ask me questions. I'm also thinking of publishing a cloud projects course that's specific to security. So if that sounds interesting to you, please let me know in the comments. Okay, here's one more recommendation. If you prefer having a structured study goal to aim for, you can look into the AWS Security Specialty Certification. It goes deeper into concepts like incidents response, threat detection, logging, and data protection. But just as a heads up, this certification is not for complete beginners. I'd recommend trying it out only if you've gotten the Cloud Practitioner or Solutions Architect Associate Certification or have equivalent hands-on experience. All right, now in this final part of the video, I want to share my honest thoughts on how you can actually turn your learning into a cloud job. As someone who's worked at AWS and helped a lot of people land their first cloud role, I know it's not always a straight path. And with AI disrupting the industry, it can now feel more uncertain than ever before. But despite all of this, here's what hasn't changed. Companies still need people who know how to build, secure, and maintain cloud systems, even if part of the job can be replaced with AI. And so if you're serious about landing a role, I'd focus on two things, visibility and AI. By visibility, I mean making your work public, sharing projects onto GitHub, posting your learnings on LinkedIn, and showing that you can actually apply what you've learned. This can help you stand out when there's hundreds of other applicants with similar skills. And by AI, I mean using it creatively to speed up your learning and workflows. Go beyond ChatGPT and try out tools like Amazon Q to explore AWS documentation or use Claude to summarize white papers. There's pretty much an AI tool out there to help you do anything these days for interviews, resumes, reaching out to recruiters, to making your portfolio, networking, and so on. Remember that the faster you can learn and build, the faster you can achieve. And make sure you stay curious along your learning journey. All right, this brings us to the end of this video. If you'd like to learn cloud this year and in future years, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Okay, bye for now.